this BVA tutorial on eyeless approaches in the 737-800 default Boeing. In this two first tutorial, I will help you use your GPS to find out information about the airfield and set up for your eyeless approach. To start with, we are going to need the GPS up. Now in this Boeing 737, the GPS switch on the cockpit is this third one from the right, but you can also use Shift and 3 to bring it up on your keyboard. Now that we've got the GPS up, you can see that there's lots of buttons down the bottom. The one we are going to need to start with is NRST, standing for nearest. This will give you a list of nearest infam nearest points from your aircraft, such as nearest airport, nearest intersection, VOR, NDB, and airspaces that you might be transitioning into soon. The one we are going to need to start with is the first page for nearest airport. As you can see, there are lists of airport codes and information about the airports. Now we are currently inbound to Birmingham, which is Echo Golf Bravo Bravo. So if we click on the cursor button down the bottom right, the big wheel, and use the outer wheel to scroll down to the airport, here you can see Echo Golf Bravo Bravo is now highlighted. Now using this, we can see a little information about the airport. We can see that it's 319 degrees from our current location. It's at a distance of 21 nautical miles. The current approach is an ILS approach and the current runway that the ILS approach is active on is 8,648 feet in length. It also gives us the tower frequency which is 118.30. Now to find out some more information about this airport we're going to want to select it. So now that we've selected it we can press enter and it'll bring us onto the next page which is specifically for this airport. Now on the first page it'll give you information on the facility name, the position, the elevation and the current approach that it is on which is an ILS approach. Now using the inner wheel you can switch to different pages in this one for the runways, for the frequencies and for the approach into the airport. Now the one we're going to need to start with is the third page and this contains a list of frequencies. Now what you want to do when you're coming up to an airport is you're going to want to listen to the ATIS frequency to find out the active runway and information about the airport you are currently inbound to. So as you can see here, the ATIS frequency is 126.28. Now, when you are programming this into your COM radio, which you can bring up by pressing SHIFT and 2, the 28 will actually be 0.275, as you cannot program 28 into your frequency. So in your COM1 radio on your standby frequency, if you put in 126.275, and you switch it over to your active frequency. Now I'm just going to unpause this so we can listen to the ATIS report quickly. Now at the start of the ATIS report it will give you an information code. If you're on a pro ATC server you can give this to the ATC controller to let them know that you know the current information about the airfield. It will also give you the Zulu time which is currently 12.01, the wind, the visibility, the sky condition, temperature dew point, the altimeter which you'll need to tune in to your aircraft and more importantly the current ILS runway and where the landing and departing runway is and this is currently runway 33. Now as we got the information we can pause it again and switch the frequency off as we do not need it anymore. So now we know the frequent, the active ILS runway is runway 33. We, we can close the COM1 by pressing shift and 2 and we can switch back to the second page to find out some information about the runway. Now we're going to want to find out the length of the runway and a bit of information about it and we can do it from this second page. And if you look on the runway, it's currently on the runway we want, runway 1533. But if it is not on the right one runway, you can click on the cursor switch, use the outer wheel to switch down to the runway, and use the inner wheel to switch between different runways. And then once you're on the correct runway, you press the enter key. Now, from this, you can see that the info, info we've got currently is that it is 8,648 feet in length and is 151 feet wide. The surface of the runway is currently asphalt and this is a full time operating runway. Now, now that we know this information, we're going to need a bit more information on the frequency that we will use for the localizer. Now this you can find on the back onto the third page, sorry. And we can see here on the frequencies that we're going to be coming on the ILS 33, which if you look here and there's a very bottom ILS 33 is 110.10. Now you're going to want to program this into your nav frequency. So bring up the radio again by pressing shift and 2 
and you can see the nav one here and in your standby you're going to want to put one one oh decimal one zero so put one one oh decimal one zero in your nav one frequency and switch the frequencies over now if you're in the 737 800 I'll just close the GPS quickly using shift and three. You have these VOR and ADF, which stands for Automatic Directional Finder buttons here. Now this this one on the left, the VOR pointer one, is for your nav one radio, and this is for your nav two or your ADF if you have that tuned in. Now currently I was not using it, but as we are going to be coming in for the approach, we're going to want to switch it to the VOR one to on. Now when you've switched it on, you will notice this text that appears down the bottom here. This is to confirm that the VOR is currently on and picking up a frequency. So the VOR1 is on, it's currently picking up India Bravo Mic IBM, which is the ILS33 code for Birmingham, and currently the DME from the airport, which is 19.0 nautical miles. Now this tells you it is on. The second thing you're going to want to do is switch the wheel up here next to the VOR1 on switch. Now this is currently set to map which gives you information about airports around you, NDBs and VORs by switching, clicking on these switches below. But as we are coming into approach we are going to want it on the APP, the approach setting. Now this should bring up the glide scope on the right hand side of this little dial down the bottom. Now this is what you're going to be using to work out if you are currently on the glide or not. And also, this little line here in the middle is the localized line. This will help you determine whether you are on this localizer or not as you when you proceed on the ILS approach. Now that we've got the nav1 frequency set in, we can close the nav radio by pressing shift and 2. Bring up shift and 3 again for the uh, for the GPS. Now that we know the code, this is all we currently need from the GPS. So at the moment, we can close the GPS, and this is the end of the first part of the lesson. Please join me for part two, where I will set up the procedures and inbound onto the localizer. Thank you.